This is a follow-up video to the Tyrannus timer video I did yesterday. Yesterday when I was uh, test timing my flights, I turned the Tyrannus off and turned it back on and the timer didn't reset. Well, that's because on this page here, this persistent was set to flight. If you leave it this set to flight, it will keep your um, flight times consist persistent across turning off the trance and turning it on and the only time it will reset is when you reset it manually so anyway, that was the first thing another thing i was questioned about was about how to set up timers so that when it reaches a certain threshold it can play a sound well you need to come over here to the here it is logical switches and what you want to set up is this one here. I got it on L3. And you got to remember L3 because you're going to need it on the next screen. But I got A equals X and I got timer 1 at 6 minutes. What this means is that 6 minutes this L3 will become active because A timer 1 equals X 6 minutes. So L3 will become active when timer 1 says 6 minutes. So that's important because on this next page on the special functions. Whoa. Down here, you want to say when L3 is met, you want to play a sound, and you can play whatever sound you want. In this case, I'm playing a sound called Warn 1, and I'm playing it one time. Now, if you wanted to have um, a timer at 6 minutes, and another one at 5 minutes, another one at 4, you can set all those up over here, an L4, L5, L6, as many as you want. Then, that's on the logical switches. Then back over here on the special functions, you'll want to set those up. In here, now you can do you can do these uh, all individually. Have L4, L5, L6 with the different uh, times, or another option you have is to come up here to the first one you set up and change this to say uh, uh, 15 seconds, or you can even move it on up to 30 seconds. And what that does is it will repeat this warning every 30 seconds. So once L3 is met, it'll keep doing this warning every 30 seconds. So that's another way to do it. I'm going to leave mine at one time for now. Another thing someone's mentioned was that instead of having to set up your switch to do the reset, like I have this one here, set up to do the reset, you can come out here and you can hold down the uh, enter key and it pops up and there's a reset oops, reset, and you can say uh, timer one here, or timer two, or your telemetry, or whatever, but there's the timer one. Now, I, that, I didn't want to do that because I want it to be quick reset for when I'm just flying. I don't want to have to <laughs> go through the menus too much. Anyway, that was just a quick follow-up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks again for watching.